Hi everybody, it's Honest John. Now, the Republican strategy of painting Hillary Clinton as devious and untrustworthy does appear to be having some effect. A lot of people do have questions about her honesty. So, it shows if you throw enough mud, some of it will stick. Despite hearing after hearing on Benghazi, they have found no wrongdoing on her part. But the House has another hearing coming up. The real scandal there is how much money the Republicans have wasted on these hearings. And also the leaks which they engaged in to try to present a false picture of their findings. When it comes to Benghazi, it is the Republicans who have been devious and untrustworthy. Now there is the email scandal. Quote, First of all, it was legal for her to use her own email server. Might not have been the best choice, but there was nothing illegal about it. And that is why there is no criminal investigation. And there was no mishandling of classified information. There were emails that were reclassified at a later date, but nothing that was labeled as secret was stored on her server. What is added to the confusion is when the State Department began releasing Clinton's emails, other government answers were allowed to weigh in on what should be released and what shouldn't be. And some emails that were not classified when she got them or when she sent them have been retroactively uh, uh, reclassified as secret. And Hillary has not refused to testify before Congress on either Benghazi or the emails. But she has insisted that her testimony, testimony be in public and not in closed session. This reflects on the untrustworthiness of the GOP, not on her. Now, I support Bernie Sanders. And this is because I like his positions. I like his economic philosophy, and I think the Clintons are a bit too close to Wall Street. But not because I see anything scandalous or dishonest in her behavior. She has, in fact, a long and exemplary record of public service. And though I prefer Sanders, if she emerges as the Democratic nominee, I will happily switch my support to her. Thanks for listening.